Artery is a retroperitoneal structure, so we have to open the retroperitoneum for this. And for doing this, make a nick in the middle of the round ligament, open the peritoneum there, and then through the nick, you go through the, you go towards the base of the ovarian ligament, and sometimes parallel to the infundibular, infundibular pelvic ligament without injuring the structures, and then. When 5 to 7 cm is open, then only with fingers you dissect because it contains a loose areolar tissue and highly vascular area, so I do not use any sharp, sharp instruments there. Now, this is a working demo where I am showing to you that when I cut the peritoneum, there are two flaps. Whenever we cut the peritoneum, there are two flaps. One is medial and another is lateral. So, when we perform this surgery, then this is ureter and this is always in the middle flap. So this ureter goes in the middle flap and it exposes our area for the ligation of internal iliac artery. Now I have already told you how do we recognize internal iliac artery. Now after recognition I have marked the point where internal iliac ligation is to be done. It is usually covered with a sheet and that sheet we have to dissect. Now how to dissect that sheet? That is very important. So I usually I take this forceps, which is a right angle forceps, for dissection of the sheath, and it should it should have a movement in the longitudinal direction and parallel to the artery. Because if we make this type of movement, then it will injure other vital structures like external iliac vein, internal iliac vein, etc. And I make a space only at the place where I have to introduce the right angle forceps. So this is how I do it. I do this section here. And on the other side also. And then the my assistants keep this here rakho tum apne paas rakho ye iska ye loop dikhao us aise karke. Holes ha loop pass me now. Show me the loop and then I Give me the loop. I pass this from lateral to medial direction and take this like this. Making a loop gives me a chance of making two ligature sutures only by passing below the artery once one time. This prevents the chances of injury to other vital structures. Now I cut this. This is the model which I myself made with the form of I first uh, many tubes assemble them in an anatomical configuration and uh, then I color them and arrange them in this way help me assistant please help me इनका ये ये दोनों साइड से पकड़ के इसको हेल्प करो फोट की डोंट पुल इट या नाउ यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव टू डिफरेंट थ्रेड्स वन दिस एंड अनदर दिस नाउ दिस आर टू बी लाइगेटेड एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर यू सी हाउ वी लाइगेटेड टू टर्न्स एंड देन I am going below because going below respecting the artery going up to the top of the artery with my fingers and supporting the artery like this. Second knot. And this is the third knot. In a similar fashion I took another thread first knot going up to the artery with my fingers never pulling the artery and placing the suture like this artery has been tightened ligated this is second suture and this is this is second knot and this is third knot
Now very gently, I cut the sutures without making any pull on the artery. So this is the picture of internal allocatory ligation. How do we perform it? Two or three important things. First, recognize the bifurcation after opening the retroperitoneum. And then locate the place where you have to apply the ligature. Posterior division of the internal allegatory is most of the time not seen. So you measure a distance of almost 3 cm from the bifurcation, 2 to 3 cm. And then you pass the suture, you, then you dissect the sheath and then pass the suture from lateral to medial. And the dissection should always be in longitudinal parallel direction. And then you pass the suture from lateral to medial always. And uh, single suture, made a double and the loop is to be hold and then it is converted into two different ligatures and to be tied like this. And never make a pull on the artery. The design of the box I have made this is almost 5 inches deep. Just to give an appearance that we have to work in depth, internal iliac artery is a retroperitoneal structure and is usually and it is at the depth. So just consider this is abdomen and this is the upper border of abdomen, upper surface and uh, this here we are working in depth. So that's why I made the height of the box. And when while we are applying ligatures on the internal iliac artery, then we should not pull the threads on the abdomen because if you pull the threads on the abdomen, the artery will get torn and it will come in our hand. And there will be massive bleeding which can and, and uh, which may exsanguinate the patient immediately. So when we apply the suture with the help of the fingers, we tie them, uh, we apply them on the top of the artery. And this is a very useful operation and I, all the obstetrician and gynecologists should know this operation. Any obstetrician and gynecologist is not a complete surgeon unless she or he knows internal allic artery ligation. It is a type, it is a life saving procedure which one must know. Uh, this is the model which I made. It is a plastic box. The depth of the box is around 5 inches. It has a cover. So it is very easy to carry for me. I can take it at any place for a working demo. Then uh, these two represent retroperitoneal flaps. This is lateral flap and this is the medial flap which has the ureter. Ureter always goes in the medial flap. And, uh, these are the parts. I have used plastic tubes which is sprayed with color to represent the different types of arteries. And these are the veins, blue colored, and this is obturator nerve. And these are the labels, common iliac artery. This is internal iliac artery. The below is internal iliac vein. Then this is the posterior division of internal iliac artery. This is obturator nerve. This is external iliac artery. This is external iliac vein. And uh, this is the anterior branch of the internal iliac artery, which is the portion where we apply the ligation or ligation on the internal iliac artery. Thank you. And the suture which we use is silk. Number one silk I use. And you can use also by fill one or one zero if silk is not available.